Hi, I'm George, and I'll be showing you how to make Photoshop Elements feather edges like I have here on this heart shape. Now, if you like this video, make sure you click that like button, click on share and subscribe, hit that bell icon for notifications of my new videos, check out hundreds more Photoshop Elements videos on my channel, and if you really want to learn how to use Photoshop Elements, take a look at my complete training course, and there's a link for that right down there in the description. A feather edge is simply a soft edge on a shape or a selection as I have right here. And they're fairly easy to do, but there are ways that make it much easier and more controllable. And I'll show you those right now. Let me just get this out of the way. There we go. And let's start off with the basic file. There it is. Now the first thing I want to do is just to decide where I want to have my basic shape, my basic image. Be in here someplace. Now it's kind of hard to see. It's a bit of a small picture. I want to be in fairly close on this. I'm just going to zoom in on the photo like that. Probably good enough right there. And then I'll just use the guidelines from the rulers. If you're not seeing your rulers, go up here to view and make sure that rulers are checked and guides are checked as well. You can now pull a guideline in and I'll just put these in so they're kind of about where I want to keep the image. These are just a quick rough estimate just so I can visualize things. So around in here is about what I want. Let's now do a feathered selection in here. I'll grab the marquee tool here, the elliptical marquee tool, and it's that one right down here. And notice we have a feathering control right there. Now mine was sitting at 20 pixels when I chose that tool. So this should make a 20 pixel feathered edge. I'll just make a selection like this, just in here someplace. There's my ellipse. Notice that it says 20 pixels down here, but I can't see any representation of that feathering in there. There's no way to see how much of a soft edge that's giving me. And that's the main problem here with using this feather control down here. I'll show you a much better way of doing this in just a moment, but let's just see what this looks like. I'll go up to the background layer. I'll make a new layer above that background layer. And then on background layer here, let's just copy this. Just a basic edit copy. Go to the new layer. I'll hide that background. I'll deselect that and then edit paste. And there's that soft edge right there. That's your feathered edge. And in this case, it's a bit too much as you can see, but I had no way of knowing how much that was going to be without trial and error down here on this feather control. You have to just try it several times until you get the effect that you like. So very hard to control. It does give you that soft feathered edge. That is correct. But this feather control really doesn't give you what I consider a good control over this effect, the soft edge effect. Okay, let me show you a better way to do feathering. I'll just delete that one layer. There we go. And we'll do a different shape as well while we're at it. Instead of using the selection tools, just come down here to the shape tools right there. It might look like this for you right there if you haven't done this before. Rectangular shape tool. But this is just your basic shapes. Come down to the tools, click on that shape right here, and then little arrow gives you a pop-up here with a bunch of different shapes. Now, these are just the default shapes. There's not too much in here, but there are actually a lot of shapes. Animals, arrows, there's foliage and trees, nature, objects, ornaments, tons and tons of stuff available over here in this little pop-up. We'll stick with the heart. That's the top one. That's perfect for this. I'll leave the color at black. That's fine. You want this to be unconstrained, which means it'll be any size that you want. And I want it to be about that big in here. On the picture about that much of the picture kept so i'm just going to go over here someplace and i'll pull down like that there's my basic heart shape and i'll come in and i'll adjust the size of this grab my move tool here and i'll set the opacity about halfway down just so i can see how that fits i can now move this around and find a spot where the couple looks good inside of that heart shape now you can make the heart taller or shorter there you go or wider if you want to so you have that ability and I want to have their heads, oh, about like this. I think that looks pretty good right in here someplace. So there's my basic heart shape. And that's what I want to have for the picture is right in here someplace. So I'll choose OK on that one. All right, that looks good. Now, let's set that shape back to 100%. And now we're going to use this to make our selection. And for that, hold the Control key down and click on the thumbnail for that shape. And that makes your selection at that heart size. Now, I'm not going to be doing any feathering on this shape. I could over here. There's your feathering still. I don't want that. I want it just as is. Come down to the background layer and then hit the layer mask button right there. 
gives you a layer mask at that point. It changes the background layer to say layer 0. We can now hide that shape 1 and there is our image inside of that heart shape. Okay, now there's a little icon right here, a little kind of chain, little link. You can unlink that and then you can move this around to get just the right position that you want. So we can just kind of fine tune that position that looks good and I'll link those together again. All right, so far so good. Now I want to crop in on this so I have just a little bit of background showing around this section. So for that I'll use the crop tool right here and you can grab just a standard size. I'll grab the 4 by 6 and I want to reverse that so it's 6 wide and 4 tall. You can see there's my basic crop box. You can then grab a corner and you can adjust the shape or that or the size of that rather. It will stay at that ratio and just find us you have a nice picture with a nice amount of background left. I think that looks pretty good. So this will be our basic finished image size. I'll choose OK. OK, so far so good. Now we can get rid of those guidelines. Go up to View and then this is Clear Guides. There we are. And I'll zoom in just a bit here, fit screen. OK. At this point we can bring our background in if you want to. Come down to the graphics down here and then the one I used before is way down at the very bottom. It's called Winter Snow. If I scroll up, there's this big long list in here under Backgrounds. There it is. Lots and lots of stuff. Now if you're using a feathered edge like we'll be putting on here in just a moment, it's better to have kind of a soft background, not a hard background. So if it's a little out of focus or kind of a soft look to it, it's going to work better. So, you know, things like this or in here, that'll look pretty good. If I come down a little bit, you'll see some things in here with real hard edges, real defined shapes. Those don't work as well on a soft feathered edge. So just keep that in mind. In any case, the one that I chose is at the very bottom of this whole big long list. It's right there. Just click on that and it applies that background. And now it's some hard edge shapes, but it's kind of a soft effect, real soft colors in here. Okay, looks nice, but we want to have that nice feather edge on this. Let's go back to our layers and that's easy to do right here. Just click on the layer mask side, look for that light blue outline and now we can blur this out in a controlled manner and give us that feather edge effect with complete control over how it looks. Go up to filter, come down to blur and Gaussian blur. Here we go. Make sure preview is checked and you can then adjust the radius right here. The higher you go, the more the blur. So this allows you to come in and make a very controlled feather edge and you can get exactly the look that you want and see what it's doing, unlike what you did if you were just going to be feathering a selection. So this is really the best way to do one of these feather edges is to make your selection, make a layer mask from your selection, and then use the Gaussian Blur to blur the layer mask out and get a controlled feather edge on that. I'm going to set this up to about, maybe about 12. You can actually type in a number in here if you want to. There's 12 just like that and choose OK. Another nice thing about this technique is I can show or hide this layer mask. Right click, disable, there we go. Right click, bring it back in again. Or I can just delete this and start over again if I'm not happy with that particular effect without damaging my original picture which stays untouched the whole time. Okay, there you go. That's how to make a controlled Photoshop Elements Feather Edge. Now if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Also click on share and most importantly, click on subscribe and hit that bell icon for notifications of my new videos. That's the only way to guarantee that you'll see all of my new videos as they come up. So make sure you subscribe or I guarantee you're going to be missing some of my videos coming up in the future. Also, take a look at my channel. You can always find all my videos there on my channel. And of course, if you really want to learn how to use Photoshop Elements, the best way to do that is first using these videos here on YouTube, but also using my complete training course for Photoshop Elements, where I take you through every single tool, menu, panel, option, everything. Best way to learn. And there's a link for that right down there in the description. Okay, and I'll see you next time.